Hello people from the internet, André here and today we are going to explore a little bit more on how to choose the right samplers and schedulers but today we are going to use another tool let me show you and this is Step Diffusion Web UI Forge I'll share this link here in the comments all you need to do to install is to scroll down the link and click here to download one click package pretty easy once you've done all this you'll be able to have access to this tool and what we are going to do today is another x y z plot but in an easier way so but uh, it's easier but you don't have all the control but anyway uh i have already done uh a, a run here let me open this so you guys can see so this this is what you're going to be able to do so what we have here we have the the sampler and the scheduler uh, and i've made 10 examples of each sampler scheduler with random seeds using 30 steps so here we have 41 different schedulers and samplers for us to see and we're going to take a look on this huge file with a lot of images but not right now let's first see how you can do it first thing you're just going to choose your checkpoint i'm using stable diffusion 1.5 here and we are going to talk uh not today but on how you can get uh, uh custom models so you can experiment with different aesthetics but right now uh we are going to use a stable diffusion 1.5 and the prompt is again cat the negative prompt text ugly in the form i i saw that in the last video i i type it text instead of text but anyway it's the negative prompt so what you're going to do you you're going to to put your your positive prompt right here your negative prompt and we are going to scroll down here where my head is on script ah we have all this screen but all that matters is behind my head so let me change the view so maybe it would be no no now i'm covering it a little bit more ah uh, that's it okay so you can see now uh nope script you're going to click here and x y z plot it will load it's it already has a, a ton of things but what i did let me put nothing in all of these so hey come here the configuration is running from me so here what i did i chose on the x the steps then you just put 30 comma 30 okay three three is enough on, for demonstration and on the y you can check the checkpoint checkpoint name no no checkpoint what, where where is my head we are testing samplers so sampler and let me just delete all these things that i have here ah. so if if you 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 chose samplers what what you need to do to fill it all you just need to click this and we have all that here again but it's way too much for the demonstration so i'll delete them all super fast again um okay and we're going to choose some uh so let's choose some we are going to choose uh euler that we we tested we're going to choose uh this one this one this one you can choose whatever you want here and this and this and this and it feels like enough for me and one thing that you, you're going to need to do also is to check this keep minus one for seats that means random so it's uh your images are going to be different sometimes you just you, you want to keep the same seat but but in this example we uh we want random seats so let's run this and see what we get so that's pretty easy right but you don't have like uh 
you you don't get to choose um any combination of samplers and schedulers there's a lot of combinations here but it's not all the combinations so easy in one way but limits you in another so it's going to run here and it's going to give us the result but right now let's take a look on the on the on the let me make this the screen bigger again right here let's take a look on the the file that i already made before the video it took 30 minutes in my machine but anyway so here you have the the name of the the sampler and just let let's just take a look uh on on the results for example i saw one it was let me find it the i think it was something three in this one i think that dpm plus plus 3m sda gave me the better results like these images uh seems like the the best ones for me but exponential is always it is also working pretty well but you can see that that some of these are not like does not give really great results like ddem what's that the catcher the cat in the nature or lcm the the cat with the a flower a blurred flower so like that's probably good for for some styles or for some prompts but and but that's why you need to 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 know how to try things and test to see what what's going to to give you the the better results and uh i, I will share the the link so you guys can i like, take uh a look on this by yourselves and and have like a something to look to help you choose the the right sampler but for now i'm seeing like really good results dpm plus plus 2s a keras i also like the dpm plus plus 3m sda exponential and the sda and you uh, it's a it's a matter of personal taste like oil is school to euler ancest euler ancestral i always i i also i'm saying always a, ton, a lot of times uh i also like this one so there you go let's see the the result that we have right here so that's it like it's uh, an x y z plot it's easier to to do uh you have your result faster but you're limited in in a certain way but it's like it i know it's something old right now and people already have had their fun with this but i still think that's that's fun and it's it's so cool like to be able to test the things and compare and, and anyway uh, let me open this new separator here let's take a look Euler dpm plus plus 3m, 3M sda good image ddpm also like that's sharp and that's it it's just another way of doing the same thing that we were doing in in the last video but something new to learn let's try just uh one more prompt before we end this video and let's go with black bear and um as you saw you just you you can use like the this knowledge this on how to plot on how to compare things but not just related to to samplers but you can uh do, do this for all the configurations you can test um uh, the number of steps so if you want to know uh the the difference Let, let's let's do this like let's let's wait this run and let's set uh 
a plot where we can see the development of the image uh, with the steps. That's something cool to do. This 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 interface that you're seeing is pretty similar to Auto One on One, and it's uh, it's like an improved version from Auto One on One with different options. And there's a lot to explore here that we're not going to explore right now. But it's also a good tool to to have. Like sometimes you want to have all the power on what you're doing and what you, you 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 just want to have all the control but sometimes you just need an easy way to 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 create an image and that's that's a good tool to use and we have not used yet but another tool that i really like is invoke ai uh and it's probably one of the best tools to 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 use stable diffusion in my opinion so we're going to test that also. And you see, black bear, black, black bear with different schedulers and samplers. Because here they, they, they are mixed, you know, in my configuration. <laughs> Four years. Okay. DDEM, good, but not in this one. And DPM++ plus plus 2M and DPM++ plus plus 3M SDA. These are probably my favorites right now. And let's do the, the oh, zoom out. And let's do the comparison here. Uh, so we can see the, the steps. So let's erase this to nothing and what hmm, let's we, we need to choose a sampler for this so let's get those two that are my favorites right now let's keep the same seed and on the steps we can go one two three four five six seven eight nine 10, 11, let's, uh, let's do this until 30 steps, 13, 14, 15, 16, um, 20, 21, 21, 22, 23, 20, 24, 5, 6, 7, 8. and 30 so we are going to to get uh, 16 images for, from this and let's go probably going to take a while let me push this so we can have a an idea let me get the the camera big again uh, here so it's not super slow let's take a look again on the on the file with the all the images. Let me drag this to my other screen so I can see when it's finished. So, um, this one I like. Double cats. All these samplers and schedulers, so you know, they are different ways of doing the 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 calculations of the images and that's why we get different results like we have the seeds we, we have different seeds so that's why all images are different because the, the seeds are random but you can see that the models they behave sometimes in a similar way let's get these two examples these images they they are, they are similar and these images too, like they, they are too noisy. Maybe there were enough enough uh, steps for it to finish. I don't know. 
so depending if you're trying to 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 create a photo if you're trying to create a um a drawing if you're trying to create a an image that resembles a 3d render render the the scheduler is an option that you should test and seems like some of them we just really need to avoid lcm is the worth i think right now and th this this is also going to change depending on the model for example if you're if you're using uh, a custom model so you, you should run this again so you can see the what are the the results on the the custom model that you're you're trying to use and we are almost finishing here the our last experiment for today which is seeing the influence of the steps on the image creation which i think it's interesting and if you're here you think too and thanks for being patient like um i know these videos these, these videos are not super fast but who cares we're learning here that's interesting I, i'll share i'll share this this with you guys too let's see That's that that's a, a a really good visual visualization of how the steps influence the construction of your image. Like, uh, let's see the one step with we can see nothing here on 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 this one. We are already seeing the images faster, and then. Can you see it? Like uh, on on the on the on the top one, the image is improving, and in, in every step of the 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 process, it's improving the image. So we all kind of already got the image on step sixteen, and on the bottom one, on the bottom test every step is changing the image so if i choose 18 steps i'm getting this image if i'm uh, if i'm using 19 steps i'm getting this image so that's also something important to know how how the the scheduler how the sampler that you're using is influencing your image creation because if i'm using dpm plus plus 2m i don't need a lot of steps like 20 steps is enough because it's uh, it's just repeating uh, in the end of the process but if i'm using dpm plus plus 3m sda each step is changing the image so do i want 30 steps because the image that is on step 30 is really that much better than the image that is on on step for example 18 so maybe you waste tw 12 steps on, on the bottom one and we wasted for uh, uh, about 15 steps on the top one. So, and that's something that you're you're going to need to, to test and be used to and don't be afraid to explore. Don't just get the configurations that people said on the internet that are already good. Do it for yourself, test it. The Zoom is with us. Okay, thank you. I hope you have learned. I hope that you test uh, this too, because it's pretty fun. And you can also test using different models. You just need to choose checkpoint, but let's let that for another video in another day, because this is already big. Thank you. Hope you have learned. Bye-bye.